We're glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in and let's start up. Oh, I'm so excited for today. Me too. You know what? This one is something that you can take and you can make it, but you can add so much to it and make so many different things from it you can make it for christmas you can make it for summer you could use it in many different places i'm it's just it's probably so far this one although i've really liked the other ones i like the versatility of this one this is the most versatile one i think we've made so far i i think so there's there's just yeah there's something to it so yeah. So without further ado, do we need more ado? We don't need any more ado. We just need to do. Okay. Not a do. 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 Go see what we need to do and then go do. Do. Yeah. All right. Have fun crafting. We are going to take something that probably, well, I don't know, they're not as popular as they used to be. Um, clothespins. My mother had a clothesline. I had a clothesline when I was a lot younger, because the house I lived at had a clothesline. So I had lots of these, um, but I don't use them anymore. Probably you don't either. You know what, um, where I am right now, uh, hanging clothes on the line is still a thing. Awesome! We're going to use clothespins for our craft and we're going to make them into a snowflake. Now, I'm going to use eight this size. This size. Um, but if you happen to have smaller ones, you can use four of each. Which mm -hmm. one you would like? I have four large ones this size and I have four not so large ones this size so they're the same kind of clothespin yeah just once a little probably about maybe half an inch three quarters of an inch or two and a half maybe one and a half centimeters long I picked these up at um, Dollar Tree it's where you get your craft seat First thing you're going to do is take them apart and you just twist them around. One comes off easy and then the other comes off. How easy is that? Um, if you're going to be persnickety, you'll want to look at each, each edge. So this part here is what's going to be showing mostly. Um, so, oh, there's a little scratch along there probably from the, from the spring, but you know, that happens. And on this one, oh, there's a mark up here. There's a mark here. So I think I'll go with this side. Um, so those two can't go together. Anyway, you can be persnickety like that, but I'm not gonna be. Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> because we may be painting them. So does it really matter? No. Nope. Take, put a little bead of glue down here and then you're going to very quickly attach. And what I try to do is line them up 
at this point and push together and hold for the count of ten. So good. And flat then, edge, the flat edge. Yeah, you're gonna you're going to put the glue on the flat edge here. Ah, uh, gotcha. So okay, watching as we put a bead of hot glue and then quickly add this and you want to not only line up this side but also the edges here and hold together nice and tight count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's together. And if there's any glue sticking out you can uh, sort of peel that off a little bit. And you're going to do that to all eight of your um, clothespins. So let's do that. So what you're going to do next is pick your, your um, clothespins and if you're using two different sizes you want to work with the larger ones first okay and you're going to place them together in the shape of an X okay or a plus sign plus sign and that's just to see how do they fit together and and you know if you're looking for things that are odd so you might want to turn one over I have one clothespin or one one pair where I don't know if you can see this or not, but one side is a little wider than the other side. Oh, okay. And uh, I didn't notice it when I put it together because, of course, I was looking and put the two sides flush, and I'm glad I did because the other side is not flush. You can see that? Yeah. So I've got to work it around so that. So I understand why you're doing this first, because if not, if I if I just went ahead and did it, they'd be lopsided. Yeah, exactly. So once you get your placement, what mm -hmm. the part of the um, clothespin that you're going to be gluing together is this part right here. Right. Um, let me let me put it on its side. So this slanted part along this thing here. So you're going to put one one little dab of glue and then stick it to the one right beside it. Perfect. Okay. And then you're going to take another one and add it to the mix right here. And always pick it up because if any of the glue seeps through the bottom and sticks to the um, to the paper the sooner you pick it up, the, the less mess you're going to have. And then sure. the, the fourth one, you're going to put two dabs of glue on it, one on this mm -hmm. slope and one on this slope because it's going to fit in to these two. Woohoo! And we have the start of a snowflake. Then you take your other um, other ones and you're going to glue them into the corner of, of the X. So it's like putting a, a uh, an X on top of a plus sign. All right. Just like that. You glue on both, both um, slants here for each one. Okay. Okay. That is our basic. Um, it's very pretty. Yeah. And what do we do with it now? I think we should paint it white. You think? Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, I've got white paint because I didn't do them last night. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I made one last night and I actually used spray paint on this just to see how it worked because there's a lot of little edges that can sometimes be hard to get to with, uh, with the brush, but I'm looking at it now and realizing I was really tired when I did this and you can see that 
it's got a very distressed look. Mm. Not good you know what? That's pretty. It, it actually is. Yeah, the distressed look is all in. So I'm okay I'm with distressed. It. It's it's a distressing time it's for a, a lot of people. Distressing time, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we're we're trying to bring a little light and joy into it, but. I mean, we want to acknowledge that people are, some people are having a very difficult time. There you but, go, yeah. So being distressed is okay. Pretty. Nice Ooh. job. Now you know we can I either um, put glitter on it or maybe some sparkly jewel stickers or anything like that. Nice. Now, I want to show you one that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, and this was for my bathroom. And I always I always decorate my bathroom with snowflakes and let it snow and that kind of thing. So I got a little bit carried away with my embellishments. So if you look carefully, you see this is the, the clothespin. Mm -hmm. I put the, I glued the middle parts together, the, the thinner parts. So I had six large clothespins and I realized that it was kind of a little bit sparse. So I did six more with the little clothespins and put those in the middle. A silver snowflake and uh, this is just almost a translucent iridescent one. I have a little ribbon here and it's blue and white. And I think what I might do is put that right in the center. I'm just going to put a wee tiny bit of glue right there. And I'm going to glue this on. And there we go. It's just simple. It's nice. It doesn't have to be too much. I painted the front of it. But I did not paint the back or the sides. You're, the only thing that is limiting you here with this is your imagination. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of nice. I like it. It almost to me looks like a star. Like I'd almost, if I had, um, you know, if I had a small tree or something like that, I might put this at the top. And where there's a little hole right here, uh, because of the way we put them together. Uh, if you had a little light, you could put a little light in there. Yeah. It's a little and miniature light. Your little um, clothespin here makes it yeah. the Star of Bethlehem. Yeah. Yeah. It's very pretty. We're, we're going to show you the materials and supplies you need for tomorrow. So see you soon. I like this. I really like it. And I think what I like most, like especially this one, um, it goes in my bathroom and I don't have to take it down when Christmas is over. Like I usually leave my bathroom decor no. up until, until I'm sick and tired of winter. <laughs> and I think I actually might make it. And I think I might, um, well, I could probably revise this one. No, I think I need to do this one into the Star of Bethlehem with the uh, with the extra one. Yeah. Well, it's been a fun day. It has been. Yeah. And tomorrow's going to be fun, too. Tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's fun. Yeah, a little smelly. A little sm Well, yeah, it's a little smelly. Well, it has been a pleasure to have you with us today. If you make one of these, all right, which is a lot of fun, by the way. If you make one, take a picture of it and put it in our comments. Even if it doesn't go in today's comments, you can pop it into tomorrow or the next day or the next day or for the whole 12 days. You mm -hmm. can pop in. If you've made something on day one that we showed on day one and you're just getting around to it now, pop it into our comments. It doesn't have to be this one. We'd love and to hear from you. It doesn't even have to be a comment. You can you can post to the page, say, hey, look what I I made. Yes. We and you know what? 
it doesn't have to even be anything like this. It could be something different that you've made. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We had so much fun today, but we're going to have even more fun tomorrow. So we will see you then. Until then, I'm Pastor Diane. And I'm Pastor Peggy. Be safe. Be healthy. And be the the church. church. Bye. Bye. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button, the little bell down right here in the corner. Make sure you you click on that so that you'll get notifications of all of our new videos as they're posted. Did, did you know that, that YouTube has changed a little bit since June? That, that now you have to say, like when you hit the notification, it asks you how often you want notifications. So hit the all so you will find out every time. We don't we don't post a lot. We'll post every day for the next few like for this twelve days. But we're not on here all the time usually. So hit the all. You'll get a few notifications here and there, and we will love to uh, connect with you here on YouTube. We are five. going. To- no, it's day four. Day four. <laughs> Only 700 left. <laughs> I know, right? Actually, it'd be really cool if it were really different. And you said, I was inspired by what you made. How does my version look? <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Stay, no, be. <laughs> Be healthy. No. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> She's get the gigglies. Come on. We just got a couple more things to do. Come on. Well, Lori's got I, my I didn't have a yogurt, actually. Didn't have What's a yogurt. Pardon me? I, I said, what did you say? I'm gonna laugh so hard I'm gonna okay okay well thanks for joining us today uh so glad you could and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow look forward to seeing You gotta take a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need a drink. <laughs>